All right, everybody, welcome to another edition of From Mighty Till Now, hanging out with you in the Korea studio. We have a legacy night coming around the corner for the Anaheim Ducks. And so, of course, we're talking the first legacy of the Anaheim Ducks, the first decade, if you will. And I have uh, the three faces, the first decade in front of me. And uh, I'm done talking now. (laughs) Uh, You know, it was interesting. I was going to start by saying the over under, call it what, two minutes of me getting kicked out of here by Paul? Well, somebody's got to operate. Yeah, the under, camera. under for sure. <laughs> under. <laughs> and then, so we were supposed to do this thing at 1130. You guys got hijacked. Yes. By oh, signing uh, sticks. There, uh, there we go. Well, I'm, I'm going. going. Hey, what Table, let's just, let's just. I'm going to, I'm going to let Paul just go off to that. No, if you don't have any nice, anything <laughs> nice to say, don't say anything. I all. love That's... how t- he got here first. Paul walks in and he kind of peeks around the no, corner. We, Paul and Geek. <laughs> Showed up at the same time. Oh, yes. And we don't oh. need to we don't need to tell everybody who showed up last. Hey, yeah, why like, you always guys come early? That if it's eleven thirty, it's eleven thirty. It's okay. Why, why are you coming at eleven twenty? Eleven thirty five. That's eleven thirty hey, five. My, my actually my mom was uh, Tame, Tame, early, Tame, but they talking in the microphone. Yes. What, <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> so I think it's not nice to come party early because there's a reason why everything starts at the time. <laughs> well, in all, in all fairness, 1135 uh, for an 1130 meeting is, is on time for you. No, no. no. I mean, he's done it his he, whole he career. Show, listen, he, listen. he showed yeah. up. I live 30 years up, with somebody's else uh, schedule. Now I say 1130-ish. So if, if I'm here 1135, nobody can be mad. Yeah. You know. yeah, smart. And smart. who do you think was angrier at the amount of autographs? At the table, you or Paul or no, me or Tamer. Who do you think was angrier? Oh, probably. I don't know. You weren't that happy when you saw those stacks. <laughs> hey, I don't he mind the not. sign, but at least I want to know that I, I will sign a couple hundred things there. <laughs> when you show up, I almost took off. I, when I saw that, I was like, oh, I'll see you later. <laughs> it is. We were supposed, friends, we were supposed to have a nice talk with you. Yes. And then we're going to go for lunch. Yeah. And then something else. Occurred. Oh, by the way, I was yeah. sitting in here for 45 minutes waiting for you guys. So, yeah, yeah. I get it. I know. I didn't know that was going to happen. We were all hijacked. Hey, but this is not the first time. We almost know what's no, going to happen. Yeah, we, we knew that that was going to happen. But, yeah. You know. When everyone started coming over here, there was a crowd waiting for you to show up. I knew something was something was up. So. Yeah. yeah. Paul yeah. was looking for the they all need seekers out front. They, they <laughs> get these three guys together and then they're like, oh, let's take advantage of the situation. <laughs> all right. Well, let's, uh, you know, so the whole thing of 30 anniversary, we've, we've talked a lot. We had you guys in here uh, to kick off this whole duck string thing presented by Gettle. Got it done. Um, but with you three in, in, in the here, way, in the Korea studio, in the Korea studio, let's make that it's still the Korea clear. studio. I think there's a guy sitting right next to me who's a little bit miffed that he doesn't have his name on a studio. And I, I would agree. He has with a that. toilet. I, I agree. Hey, he has a toilet. I would agree with him. that. Yeah. Or, or a number would, in the rafters. I mean, I, 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 I would agree with that, Gibo. <laughs> I, I, I completely agree with you. Yeah. There should be something in here there with 31 on it. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I just have a feeling I, I know where it's going to be. Where? It's probably in the men's room floor. <laughs> <laughs> stall 31. Yeah, stall 31. Uh, Welcome, um, everybody. I wanted, so I wanted to get your thoughts. When you think of 30 years in this organization, what comes to mind? And this is probably the most serious question I'm going to ask you in the next hour or many minutes. Who wants to kick in? Like, what do you think? 30 years. Paul, I'll start with you. You think thirty years in this organization? It, it uh, it's how quickly time flies by. I mean, it, it's uh, thinking back of you know, I guess my, you know when I was drafted back in ninety three. Um, thirty years. I mean, it's just gone by in, yeah. in an instant. And uh, you know, for ourselves personally, that it's it's always the first, like f- for myself, my first training camp, uh, flying in, staying at the Disneyland hotel. Uh, first uh, day of camp, having breakfast with Stu Grimson at the bar, having a bowl with Stu Grimson and, you know, driving to the rink with the palm trees and everything. And just, it was a surreal moment, you know, for, for me to, you know, come from Vancouver, come from the University of Maine and, yeah. and to, to California. But, you know, what a job the uh, the Ducks have done as an organization to grow the game in, in this area. It's just uh, incredible uh, when you look at... Uh, um, the growth of the sport, minor hockey, junior, you know, how many kids are drafted now out of California. It's just been uh, a huge uh, accomplishment, uh, b- both for the Ducks and the Kings and, and San Jose and to, to yeah, get California sure. hockey uh, at, at this level. So, yeah, Paul being the uh, first draft pick, but the original Mighty Duck over there, Gibo, 
when you think of 30 years, you and I've had a chance to chat about it a lot since uh, the beginning of uh, this season. But what do you think? What comes to mind when you think 30 years, not just for you, but just for the organization in, in general? Uh, I mean, I'll expand on on Paul's point. It was about uh, you know starting an organization from the ground up, and we all wanted to have some sort of impact on you know our footprint on that organization. How could we contribute to the success of the franchise uh, when we were gone? Like, so could you pave the way for the organization to eventually win a Stanley Cup? And you know, we had a hand in that getting into the first ever playoff series. So it was kind of like baby steps, I think, really for us, and then. The growth of hockey certainly boomed out here in Southern California. I mean, you know, Paul being a Hobie Baker winner as a freshman, being our first real ever draft pick. I mean, that put us on the map. Then all of a sudden, you know, I get off the ice, I go into the training room, I'm icing down and have Chad Kilger and Oleg Tavardoski, you know, come out of the coach's office. One's swearing in Russian and the other guy is is crying. And they just said, uh, we just got traded for Tame Solani. And I was like trying to contain my excitement, you know, for poor Chad Kilker. You know, but I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, Winnipeg will be a great opportunity for you. You know, and I was like sitting there going like, I'm like, you know, we were making real strides, uh, you know, with the organization of now we're going to be really competitive. You know, now Paul has a running mate that can play up to his level of ability. And, you know, and of course, uh, you know, the next big acquisition was really the development of Steve Ruchin, who anchored these two guys for a lot of years and certainly was an unsung hero, but I know this show is not about Steve Rooch. And, uh, <laughs> where are, where are it's always about Rooch. Be here. Yeah. Uh, I'm sitting in for Steve Rooch. Yeah. He couldn't be here today. So yeah. unfortunately, uh, I got to sit in for him. And Tamu, uh, from Winnipeg to Disneyland. Mike, oh, we'll talk about a culture shock for you. That was huge. Uh, obviously, like uh, like Paul said a little bit, my first, uh, first morning here, I have having breakfast outside, 80 degrees. I just came back from minus 25 Celsius city. And uh, I, I look around and I said, this is a heaven. This is a... <laughs> and, 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 and that time, that time I knew this cannot be my home. It just felt that this right, is my yeah. place. I'm in the right place. But like, like boy said, you know, I think it has been fun to be a part of that whole process. What has happening here in 30 years, you know, and uh, be a part of that building process here. We have seen good days and bad days. So I think that's a very special thing, you know, and uh, and how much the the fans has changed, how much they know about hockey, uh, and everything. But I think the biggest thing is that we have always had a very class organization, and uh, and they really look after the players and and fans. So I think that's a, that's the biggest thing. But overall, California is. I think it's my home. It's pretty damn good. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Let's play this game for a second. Uh, Gibo, first impressions of this, the guy to your left when he came in. Cocky. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like, what? Yeah. He probably no. didn't say a word. Yeah. No, I mean, listen, he still drives a, a, a bad car, right? I mean, we kind of joked with him. Like, he came in and he was like a consummate professional at such a young age. I mean, he comes in, he didn't want to be flashy, so he didn't buy a nice car. Um, I know Tamu gave him, you know, grief about that probably still to this day, but you know, Paul, like when he walked in the locker room, we knew that instantly, like we had this guy who was a wicked competitor and that was going to try to drive everybody in that locker room who a lot of us were getting first or second chances of staying in the NHL uh, to be better. And, you know, I do, I told this story before, but I'll tell it again. I can remember one day in practice, like Paul's coming down on me and he's coming down shooting wrong handed. And he comes down and he shoots wrong handed it. And I look at him. Did he like, score? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, don't, I don't know if he hit the net I or not. I couldn't beat, I, I couldn't beat Gibo with my right, with my right hand. I could, uh, but it was amazing because I looked at him. I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, hey, man, you never know. Like when, you know, you get caught up in the whatever. I played lacrosse and I need to go, you know, the opposite way. And at first I thought he was, you know, I'm like, here's a rookie trying to show up a veteran. And then I kind of <laughs> thought about it. I'm like, okay, like. Who thinks like this? Like only the best players do, right? They're Someone so with, creative. with way too much time. On <laughs> yeah. So in, in a nutshell, I mean, yeah, I mean, Paul, Paul's ability and natural skill was just, you know, off the charts impressive. And, you know, I mean, I had the pleasure of standing where I stood in that net and watching him and Tamu 
blast down the ice and score big goals for us for for a number of years. So that was always uh, an exciting point of view for me. So you two guys. Well, and don't forget, you know, one of my, my favorite things that I enjoyed early on was when uh, Stu Grimson, you remember this in Proud <laughs> Stu. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Stu Grimson had one of the hard he he competed in the hardest shot yeah. like he was he had a hundred mile plus really slap shot. A big oh, bomb yeah. oh i, he oh, I had know a bomb. yeah and uh <laughs> during during practice we would do a three-line shooting drill and you're supposed to warm up the goalie so you're yeah. supposed to shoot from the blue line Stu would come down from the middle of the ice and take a slap <laughs> shot from, <laughs> from the hash marks at Gibo's toes <laughs> <laughs> and he would be so pissed. <laughs> he would come out like he's uh, like, you know, Stu, what are you doing? And, and like Stu didn't, he wasn't doing it on purpose, I don't think, but he was just oh, he was no. trying like, so hard yeah, to score. To score. And yeah. he would come up and his stick would literally touch the top of the set, just hammer it. And and at, it. at the time, the goalie gear, they were okay, but not like today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There, oh, no yeah. Yeah. there was a fear factor. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, a stay puff <laughs> marshmallow today. They yeah. blow, they blow them up. Yeah. Well, at a time I ended up having to give Stewie a lot of room so like he'd look like he and then he never looked again. So I would give him half a net to shoot out. So we'd look at it and then I'd slide a little bit further out of the net. And then he finally caught on and he was so mad. He was so mad because he's like, I'm trying, I'm trying to score. I'm like, listen, I'm trying to survive. Uh, you can't get oh. mad for him because he's pretty tough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He took care of yeah. all of us for yeah. a long time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it's actually nice. like when you, when you think back, the the first year of the team like the, the ducks had one of the toughest teams in in the league yep. i mean that's an understatement well if you're going to be called like, the mighty ducks and disney they, was going to you better be they tough, were, right they were tough and uh no one messed around with the with the team early on i mean tough hard and how's that for you i mean being well, a young was, guy with a lot of ton of skill the, that my my first my my first year i i played for a period with Stu and Todd Ewan. No, you did. Yes, didn't. I did. No, no. Right. Yes, I did. No. For for a period. They I don't know. And and that was the best period of my life. No one came near me. No one came near me. Oh, I had they didn't touch the park. <laughs> I, but I, yeah, I, I didn't pass <laughs> either, but no one came near me. <laughs> <laughs> but at the time it was like, you know, obviously you guys never had a good team before, like later on. But uh, you know, you need a fight to get the, those fans oh, yeah. going. I, I think it was very well, important. I, I, I think no. when you talk about the 30 years, like the the the, the knowledge of the Ducks fans um, has grown tremendously over the time. And, and now, like when we're out in the community, people will come up to us and they know like the prospects, the, mm-hmm. like the drafted pro- what they're doing in junior. Well, let's be you honest, know what I mean? like nobody knew who the hell you guys were, right? Early on, walking around, you could walk around everywhere and being the face of the yeah. franchise, they didn't know who you were. Yeah. And, 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 and now like it's, you know, the... The, the the they're hardcore fans right. in, in Anaheim and they know the game now and mm. they they know the players they're very into the the but what what's always been and it kind of that's why I brought up the toughness like they the team the way they're playing this year the bite and the competitiveness of the team they love it and you can hear they, they that but they've always had that there's always been that kind of element to the the Ducks teams through the years and it, it's it's nice to see like the the way the the team is competing you know the um, every game there's like two or three like hard hits where guys are, are punished. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, that's what Ducks fans have been used to from day one. Yeah. And it's, <clears throat> this is a tough market, you know, you have to have uh, something to give for back, yes. back for the fans because there's so many other things for what, what you can do in Orange County. But like I said, to, uh, this year team looks really, really exciting. They're oh, young. Yeah. You can feel how excited they are. And, yeah. uh, and I think when these young guys kind of peak, same time, you know, I think we're going to have an unbelievable team. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about when uh, this guy walked in the door. Both you guys were here. What were first impressions of uh, Tamu? Man, the well, guy could eat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? I, uh, long you, I, 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 was, I was literally like, he, yeah. he literally tell, tell, walked tell, tell, in. Tell uh, some new story. Not <laughs> I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave now. It's time to go. He literally, like he, the first time you came into my room, our, we were roommates. Yeah, like that was what he came into the, my room. Was the first time I. Oh, yeah. No, no, but and, 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 no, right, right away, away right, right away, right away, he came right. Yeah, we were roommates, and he bossed me around. He said, "Paul, <laughs> <laughs> close the blinds, give me the converter, <laughs> yeah. order room service, yeah. massage my feet." Give me the <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I no, was he teaching just bought, yeah. it was, he, he bossed me. It was actually embarrassing. Looking back on it, it was kind of embarrassing, like what he did to me as a young player. Like he, <laughs> we, just, hey. And how different were you guys in ages at the it time? It was teaching process. For yes, you. exactly. That's no, why, this is not a, that's this is why not a you lie. are who this you is, are today. This is not a lie. Oh, My half salary went to teach Paul <laughs> 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 to live the life. <laughs> but you know what? I have never seen anybody who's so disciplined for every area than Paul. Like I, I, he I, spun that pretty quick, didn't he? No, he yeah. did spin. We're talking about you. <laughs> yeah. we're, 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 I mean, it really I, is. I think, the odd you know couple, what? You know what's right? interesting, Gibo? They're the odd couple. It, it's interesting yes. that in life, you want to do things that you're passionate about, right? And it's interesting that now Tamu's retired, but his first passion was eating. And he owns a restaurant. Yeah. I still love it. Yeah. 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 That's still, no, that's what I mean. He's, yeah. he's that Gibo. That's a good point. Like when we saw him, we went out to dinner with him that first night in like, Long Island. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It, he ate everybody's meal. Like he finished his Wait, own brand, and then he went brand, around. Brand new guy. Oh, no. shows I, up I, I ate eating. the leftovers. I made yeah, a no, he, there. Not leftovers. He's like, let me take touch of your plate. Yes. <laughs> and he'd go around and I'm like, is this guy? Yeah. yeah. But what's, what's interesting is. You know, 30 years later, he's doing what he loves to do, which is eating food. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're right. You know, that's, you, You've always been passionate about passion. it. Passion yeah. is everything, you know, and uh, that's that drives you. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, are we going to... Hey, should we walk down he's that path? Frenchie's trying to s- save yeah. himself here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know. Frenchie's like, like I got well. the Mount Rushmore of the Ducks franchise here, and they're talking about food. <laughs> no, I hey, I got you there. I mean, it was my my fault. But uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so he could eat. What else about Tamu? Well, With I mean... Impressions. Yeah. I know it was the eating part, but uh, was he... Did everybody embrace him right away because of the uh, the award-winning personality? Well, we embraced him because he could score goals and we were starved <laughs> for scoring goals. Like, you know, if I had a dime for every time somebody said, hey, Gibo, shout him out, we'll get you one. And that was the way we were going to win. Uh, I'd be a wealthy man. But uh, when he came in, you know, obviously what he did in Winnipeg, I mean, everybody around the league knew. And I mean, I don't think there was a happier guy in the organization than than our coach, Ron Wilson. I mean, because he was like. I've got, you know, I've got two world class players if I can find somebody that can play with them. Uh, but I mean, listen, uh, look at the career that both of these guys have had and the impact they've had on the team and this organization. I mean, their jerseys are in the rafters for a reason. I mean, Tamu came in with Paul in instant electricity. And, you know, again, uh, you know, it gave us, you know, legitimized the Mighty Ducks at the time. You know, we had a lot of toughness, but we were known as like tough. Hard to play against, but no skill or very little skill. Then all of a sudden we had we had a top line in the whole NHL. I mean, it was like, right. uh, well, if we can check this line, then, you know, we'll beat the Ducks. But a lot of times they couldn't check that one line. And, uh, you know, the rest is history, as they say. 1997 San Jose. Great photo of you three. All-star game. The All-Star game, yeah. What was that? What, a, what was that like, all you guys was, being together? Yeah, that was a fantastic uh, experience for, for all of us. And, and to be there with Guy, Guy had an incredible uh, season that year. And, uh, um, you know, when you have a goaltender like that, that you know is going to make the first save for you and keep your team in game, you have a chance to win. Yeah. And, uh, no, I, I remember that. I have that photo at home with yeah. the three of us That's there. Photo. And uh, um one that my, I had my grandfather and my mother came down for uh, from that All Star game, and it was just like uh, you remember my yeah, and, uh, yeah. It was just uh, those those like little <clears throat> moments in yeah. your career that you look back on um, to have the three of us uh, represent the team that year. I mean, just a huge accomplishment for the organization. And um, and how, yeah. how many teams actually had three players in the All Star game? Yeah, I don't think sure. many. Yeah. No, so we, yeah. no. we were kind of uh, proud of that. Yeah, you know? yeah. It was, uh, it was yeah. great. And like you said, it's a huge moment for the Ducks. Yes. At the time. Yeah. 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 Like just, four, just four years yeah. into the franchise. Yes. Yeah. But that's that, that shows how good Gibo was as uh, as our uh, as our number one goaltender and, and uh, the type of player that he was. And, um, you know, we uh, we had a lot of fun, you know, looking back on on, on those days and, and, and the group of the guys. And, and, you know, it's it's interesting over after all this time, like nothing ever changes. Like when you see Gibo. <laughs> <laughs> Every, you know, give, give each other a hug. Nothing, nothing changes. Like the, you know, our, our lives cha- have, have changed, but the personalities yeah. 
nothing ever changes. We're the same yeah. people amongst you. Like we love going out to, to dinner or, or, and we have a great time. And, and like I said, it's like, it's, it's like the first dinner that we had together back in 95. Yeah. You, you all love eating. <laughs> See? Well, <laughs> See? <laughs> 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 so here's well, the food. It, it, it's if you most guys when 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 they're retired and you ask them what they miss right it's the dinners on the road yeah right i, I don't know i mean the guys i don't think do that now right i think it's yeah it's I, kind of a lost thing which yeah. you know we look it's fondly, unfortunate yeah we it's look fondly on those uh you know those nights where you know you get together it's six guys eight guys sometimes the whole team going out but you know, that's really solidifies your your chemistry and your bond between players. That's why like, if I don't see these guys for like a year and then like Paul's saying, you walk in and all of a sudden there's some event or whatever. Or we get together for dinner. It's literally like we saw them the day before. Yeah. Like there's no awkwardness. Same, it's not like, same wonder what's going all on. You get to, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You the but they're still funny. <laughs> they're still damn funny, though. Yeah. Well, the, the only problem with Paul, Paul was that they, like he has to bite 30 times every time when he puts something in the mouth. And we are like, let's, let's go, <laughs> yeah. man. Come on. And he's like. <laughs> no, I would. I Like when we were on the road, remember I, would, I would always like. I, the way we would come over, you know, ask us what we want to drink. Or I go, I'm, listen, we don't want a long meal. We want to get in oh out here. God. God. <laughs> he found the place that we are in and out in 45 minutes. Yeah. Let's keep yeah. going. Let's keep yeah. going. No Wait, way. Excuse me. Excuse oh, yeah. Me. Can we get yeah. We're going to rush us. Yeah, can we get the bill before you serve our meal? <laughs> uh, no, it was pretty funny. Uh, you know, we, I, we come we come here only if you promise we can be out in forty five minutes. This is, this is like this is like you know going out to Morton. Oh, we don't. Nice yeah, we're not going there. Yeah. 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 We're like, why not? It's great. It's too long. Said, what do you mean? They can't get us out in forty five minutes. I said, well, we, we have to go. No, no, trust me, trust me. I'm like, like, please, let's go there. It's a great restaurant. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I we had a chance to talk with Pat Verbeek the other day, and he mentioned something that he, the mentality right now of this team is us against the world, right? Mm-hmm. Based on everything they're going through and whatever. Did you guys have a sense of that being a new franchise, being a Disney <laughs> hockey team? wearing that new crest did you have did it bring you closer you're talking about going out and being together with everybody did it bring you closer together did was that even part of the mentality of that you felt like you guys had a lot to prove well i i think uh, as an expansion team you know like like he said a lot a lot of the guys were their teams didn't want them they're and, yeah and, and so they're, they're, <laughs> well, <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not all of us. No, not, 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 I, I didn't mean that. But you, you know, so, that sounded funny. Nobody wants. Yeah. No, but they're, 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 you're you're given a choice of players to protect, and right. You know, this is going. You, you listen to the Vegas Knights right now, and they still have that chip on their shoulder. Yeah, a, a lot hey, of those guys. In the in the in the old days, like like uh, ninety three. How the expansion draft work? Because now it seems to me that uh, Seattle and and uh, all of a uh, sudden they're way and and nights, they get an unbelievable team right away. Uh, yes, like yeah. what was the well they they could pr- teams could protect way more players back then. So yeah. you know, like I, I don't know the number of if right. it's nine fours, but they were able Whatever to protect was, way yeah. way more players. Because now so they not, get unbelievable they, team yeah, right away, and they yeah. want the yeah. team to be good right away. So yeah. that's why yeah. they did this yeah. new. Well, if they yeah. buy, pay five hundred fifty million, maybe they, <laughs> they deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure that I'm sure there was a, a, a little bit like my, I, I was there, I started with the, the team in the second year and uh, there's I'm sure a little bit of that, uh, you know, we're, we have a lot to prove and 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 uh, but, well, I think the expectations for you guys were not like nobody expected oh, no, no, you no, to, no. to be well. Right. And, and then you don't have the pressure here that uh, the media and the fans. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they don't really like expect you to win like when you go to yeah. canada or like Correct. big hockey markets you know it's yeah. it can be brutal how they treat the players and if you don't play well they boo you and and, yeah. the, and the papers they want to actually make up some stories about something bad about you so yeah. i think it's a little different but i always remember that you know like in the old early days that you know 
a lot of teams came here also like a have a mini vacation mm-hmm. <laughs> and we always said let's uh, let's surprise them because they are not so focused yeah. you know and that's how i think we want a, a lot, lot of a lot, a lot of teams had their rookie meals yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> too bad i didn't have oh, my hey, for, hey. too bad i didn't have the, my restaurant at the time yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. over serve yeah. yeah but that was a made people like they, yeah. they would be at the white I remember the white house that used they'd to bring their golf of. clubs yeah, yeah. Yes. I, they always yeah they played golf at uh, whatever sure. pelican or somewhere and they they did they turned it into a vacation you know i mean i think the you know the very first year you know because no one really believed the team was going to be called the mighty ducks right after the movie i mean nobody and then when you know michael eisner came out and said we've named the team it's the mighty ducks you know the traditional nhl and the nhl fans were like this is a mickey mouse operation right uh, but and I think when Jack Ferreira put the team together early on, I mean, that was part of his thing is like, we have to prove on the ice that, you know, we are tough. Like we're going to be wearing these kind of strange logoed colored jerseys. And, you know, how do we get respect around the league? And, and you know, that's why we had, you know, Stu and Todd Ewan and um, Jimmy Thompson and Robin Bawa. And uh, like you just kind of go down and list the guys that were, were yeah. tough, rugged oh. players <clears throat> that were going to, you know, make sure that they stood up for us. And, you know, you know, after a couple of those tussles in preseason against the Kings, you know, when Stu, Stewie and Yui would drop the gloves with McSorley and Reichel and wh- or whoever they had. Uh, the Kings got the message right mm-hmm. away. So I think that was an important thing early on that, you know, we weren't going to be a laughing stock because of the name or the logo. And it was really interesting because, you know, you know, being a part of that, you know, we're going down parades on main street and in Disneyland and we're doing things Disney themed. And I actually found out I was getting the start for the first ever game uh, at Disneyland because we did an event and Ron Wilson uh, called me and Ron tugged that over. And we went over by some carousel or something like that. And he's like, Hey, you guys have had great camps. And only one of you can start the first game. And he's like, you can get it first game. Tugger, you're going to get the second game. And I'm like, you know, so anytime I think about like Disneyland, there's so many like hockey memories involved because, you know, walked hand in hand for, you know, a long time. What was it like for you two guys? Gibo, obviously, it was incredible having you two up front. But what was it like having him in the crease for so long? Yeah, like like, uh, Paul said, you know, everything starts from the goaltender and uh, like, like, Gibo gave us chance to win. We knew we were yeah. gonna score four goals a game, but if if uh, he can play well and the, our, I, I don't think a lot of uh, help came from the defensemen so other times. But, uh, it, <laughs> but wait, are we talking about Bobby Dulles? Yeah. He's not here oh, to defend himself. Best. He's, gonna, he's <laughs> texting right now. Yeah, yeah. no, but uh, he, no, he did his job, and uh, you know, I think uh, Gibo and myself we are very uh, similar about the personalities that you know, like we. We, we try not to have a bad days even when we lost you know you, you try yeah. try your hard but in the end of the day it's just a hockey and uh, and uh, bring that positive attitude every game he he has been very easy personality and easy teammate to have so are you calling me it's always and, good, and, good and, vibe and, about uh, people. Yeah. <laughs> a different goalie than most hey Normal, yeah, normal. Yeah, you know, that's very, 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 very. I don't know. No, yeah, is that well, an somewhat insult? Normal. I don't yeah, even know. Yeah, yeah. Why, like, a, normal, like yeah. a relief somewhat pitcher, normal. kind of something's <laughs> a little off. <laughs> <laughs> there must no, be we, something we, we don't know. Yeah. Well, we like we knew we had a, a chance to win every time he was in that. And and uh, that that's all you can ask for from from your goaltender. I mean, like <laughs> maybe the playoff series against Detroit. I think every game they had a, like a <laughs> ninety shots. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think we lost all four. In, uh, we lost four nothing, but uh, all four games went to no, overtime. No, we were yes, yeah, yeah. That, that was in ninety seven. Poor guy. <laughs> You need IV after the game. So <laughs> uh, we had a 35 uh, shots. He, he definitely saw a lot of rubber over yeah. the years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got to thank Which you might guys. explain some of the lapses on air, Frenchie. Yeah, it could be. I, I When I go blank. <laughs> there, yes, there are, I, I, oh, I, I do see so that a good. few times when I'm watching you guys. I'm like, oh, that's that's a, one of those. Uh, that might be a Stu Grimson warm-up <laughs> shot that caused that. <laughs> got that blank stare. <laughs> remember the Bobby oh, Dallas? I, I always remember. So good. I think we New Jersey. First five five minutes, we are down 3 nothing, And and Bobby Bobby calls to the keyboard. I said, well, the keyboard. <laughs> It looks like it's just you and me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> 
God, he must uh, probably minus three yeah. too. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Uh, and that's one of my uh, all time favorite memories right there. It was hilarious because we just were getting killed. <laughs> and he just taps me in the pads. Yeah. And he goes, it looks like it's just me and you, Gibo. <laughs> uh, yeah. He had the most looks- confidence. Bobby oh Dallas had God. the most confidence. Yeah. He was a any athlete. He was really yes, a good player, was. a smart player. Yeah. But his lines were uh, uh, so funny. One time he said, Tim. We have bad defense, <laughs> and I, I I I can't play whole sixty minutes. <laughs> Remember the game where he shot through the net? He scored yeah, a goal yeah. and it went through the net. You remember, yeah, was that before Tim? Uh, I think Tim. No, was you, no, there. I was, you I were guess, there. Yeah. yeah, he shot. Get a remember his, his stick how was short like, he was. Yeah, it was like it was like a putter. Yeah. <laughs> He scored, and this is before yeah. you could review it, right? Yeah, yeah. but it, it went through the net. No way! Oh yeah, and and you know, obviously that not that, because uh, it was that, so that hard. Didn't, uh, that didn't deflate his ego. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a great guy! Uh, he was a fun guy. <laughs> so you guys talk about you know, obviously with you three, and then some of the others. But you know, with this legacy night, there's three of them, obviously this year. Uh, what's it going to be to see some of the guys, and and uh, and also some of these? A lot of guys still live here in Southern California. So I mean, is there a you know a community that you guys hang around? That you still oh yeah, do you keep in touch with guys? And yeah, we usually go out for dinner like two or three times a year with the with the guys and, <laughs> yeah, and get yeah. together. Usually oh, we 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 try to uh, go to Tamu's and uh, hopefully get a free meal, yeah. but that doesn't you know how that goes. So yeah. Yeah. no it's a, it's a mm-hmm. double price for <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say yeah, no, they, they, they learned that quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Remember sure. the first day like was Tamu the, no he was there and uh the bill came and he went to the washroom. Oh, and yeah. it looked, yeah, yeah. And, and I it, learned from Ru- Rooch actually looked at he goes, did he did he d- double charge us? <laughs> Like how was this hey, meal that like we didn't have any to drink? Twenty five uh, vodka sodas. No, no, <laughs> so no. That's no, how no one had any wine or anything. Hard. And I was like, oh my god, what is going on that's here? That's awesome. No, I I always pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, uh, I've heard stories. But it's uh, but it's every yeah. It's nice to see the guys. Uh, you know, when we go for for dinner and and uh, just catch up with everybody. But uh, an event like this will be extra special. Uh, you know, have dinner with uh, with everyone the night before, and then uh, see everybody at the game. And yeah, a little Q and A with everybody to see, kind of share some stories, and we'll we'll get these guys on the uh, the pregame show. Uh, they, they both confirmed with me. Well, that's good because we're going to be the show. Oh, it's cool. actually going to be right next to the uh, the stage. See, it's e- easy for them to get to. I, I see Paul. Do, do you recall? Is there, is, there, is, there a camera, is there a camera in here? Because Paul's just about ready to leave the building. We're going to have uh, some more sticks for you to sign. More, right? more surprises. <laughs> Didn't we say last time we did this show that that was the last show that we yes. were going to do? And yeah. then somehow yes. we're somehow here, we're again. here yeah. again. Yeah. Well, you probably don't have to do it until the 40th reunion. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, guys, thanks for being here. Always thanks for fun. Always it's uh, yeah, it was uh, you know, sort of this time he was talking way it's, too much. It's, yeah. I know, <laughs> I just, it, ruined the, it ruined the show <laughs> yeah, a little exactly. bit having him speak. No, too but much, no, but I had to keep it on we'll the get... rails, I had to keep it back on the rails. And there's lunchtime, Paul. Speaking yeah. of food, yes, we're the, everybody's we're, got to go we're, eat we're, lunch. We're going for sushi right now. So, all right, you guys have fun. Uh, this has been another edition of From Mighty Till Now, and uh, don't forget about Legacy Night taking place on November the 12th at Honda Center. It's going to be a blast, as you can tell.